Hey, how's it going YouTube? Harry once again here with OC Appliance DIY Repairs. I uh, want to do a video people have been asking for regarding how to clear a capillary tube that's clogged. So this could be a very short video. This is on a kitchen aid built-in refrigerator. Um, the quality isn't the best as I would like it. Um, but you get the idea. Um, so hope you like it, enjoy it. Hope it helps. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave your comment below so we can keep making great videos like that. Thank you. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Um, today I'm working on a um, KitchenAid built-in refrigerator, and the problem that we're having is it's not cooling, but there's a restriction in the capillary tube area. Um, I'm not sure if you can see the capillary there. So we went ahead and removed the compressor and we installed a Schrader valve or a service valve in the um, discharge line basically. Um, so we're blowing dry nitrogen. Basically, what you want to do is cut the compressor out. Um, I replaced the filter dryer along with the valve in here. But when I was, um, because of the restriction, when I was blowing through here, um, the nitrogen was coming out this way. So we went ahead and put in a service port here so we can blow in. And this way it's getting everything you know out of the refrigerator line. So if you have any questions leave a comment or if you like subscribe. Um, once again the reason we're doing this is because there's a restriction. There's I've had a couple questions on how to clear a restriction and this is one way we do it. Um, or one way I do it. The other way is to just replace the capillary tube. That is a lot of work. Um, and this seems to be a little bit easier. It takes a little bit longer maybe, but it is a little bit easier. Alrighty, thank you. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. So I just wanted to show you so you can see the oil dripping out. But we're pressuring it with the nitrogen. And you want to just keep doing it until you and no longer hear the little gurgling sound. And all you feel is air coming out. I think we're good. Still some in there. We're doing about 175 PSI, but we're trying to clear that clock, is what we're trying to do. That restriction in there. All that oil, all this is what just hurts the refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> 